Right, good morning. This is BJ and Joe Ando from Out and About on the Recumbents. And uh, we're uh, doing the uh, new uh, wireless mic test. We, uh, I hope I've got this thing uh, paired as they say. Let me get this hooked over here a bit. Oh man, come on. It's hard to kind of see what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the weird view here. I'm trying to get my gloves on. It's a pretty chilly day to, today. It's, it's just uh, lots and lots of clouds, you know, lots and lots of high clouds. As you can kind of see up over there. And, uh, but yeah, so, uh, so we're kind of, you know, doing, like I said, we're doing this wireless mic test uh, with the uh, GoPro 6. And, uh, we we're back from all the uh, uh, family complications and stuff, so this is our first ride. It's gonna be a short one today, though, because Joe had a doctor's appointment this morning. So, uh, all right, well, we'll do a little a quick test here. I'm gonna put it right up by my face, and then I'm gonna put the camera all the way over here, way away from my face, and see if the uh, the sound is all the same. I'm gonna bring it back. Okay, so we're gonna take off here. Oh, wrong gear, of course. And, uh, but yeah, we're uh, just doing one of our normals. Uh, this is the, uh, right now we jumped uh, off of the uh, Cascade Street bike lane onto the uh, Templeton Gap Trail. And we're heading, uh, technically at the moment we're heading south, but we're kind of heading south and west. We're going to go pick up the Greenway Trail and then take that all the way up to uh, the shopping center. Morning, thank you. Morning. And, uh, yeah, sorry about that jerk there. That dog kind of kind of scared me for a second. I am not a big fan of dogs, okay? Now, it's not that I don't like dogs, uh, but, uh, okay. Well, I forgot to do a walkie-talkie test. That's what I was going to do because I got this thing going now, so we'll just have to do that later. Yeah, yeah, that was, I, not enough hands. <laughs> So yeah, this uh, part of the trail goes right along Fountain Creek. Uh, this is another urban trail. And, uh, and like I said, uh, now I've got this uh, wireless mic hooked onto my uh, lapel, I guess you call it. My collar, rather. And uh, it has the, uh, the cat hair on it to... Uh, uh, you know, keep the wind noise down a bit, so, uh, kind of see how this works. Like I said, you know, I'm just kind of putting it in different positions, and no matter where I put it, you should be able to hear the, uh, you know, should be able to hear the sound without it, uh, going quiet like it did using the, uh, internal mic. At least I hope that's what's going to happen. <laughs> That's the goal of, uh, you know, using a wireless mic is that, uh, you know, your sound goes, uh, you know, it, it's not going to disappear because you're, because the mic's getting too far away from your voice. But, uh, there's a, that's a Fountain Creek over there. Okay, I got to back off here. I got a big old bump and I got to get, uh, Got to gear down, or I'll never get up the up the slope here. Okay, got a big old fuzzy dog here. Oh, I better drop another gear. I won't be able to. Yeah. 
All right. Get up the hill here. Come on, come on. Thank you. And uh, try to give you a little more view of the creek there. And Joe's in front of me. I don't know, uh, I don't really know how long this uh, wireless microphone will actually record for. I'm sure the batteries in this thing are really tiny in both of them because they're real small units. If you uh, saw my live, you'll know uh, exactly how big they were. We're uh, on the bridge crossing over Fountain Creek uh, to get to the Pikes Peak Greenway and then we're going to head north. And as you can see, it's uh, still doing a whole lot of melting. Yeah, this uh, this selfie stick's kind of nice because it's taller, so I can kind of get over the bridge and even sitting down. Bring it back down here, and uh, yeah, I just hope I couldn't quite figure out exactly what kind of setting I should have this on for the audio. So uh, it could be a point to where I don't have this. Uh, wireless mic set up right but since it's plugged right into the camera into the uh, uh, what do they call that the little port um, I'll think of it in a minute oh, a USB-C port and uh, see now we're on the other side of the uh, creek there's a train right over there Originally, I was going to go up uh, up the trail over here, but uh, uh, because of Joe's doctor's appointment, you know, we don't have a car, so she had to catch a bus. Bike back! And uh, that's, what you, that's what you say when uh, a bike is passing you. And since everybody pretty much passes us, <laughs> I'll give you a little view of the creek here just because it's kind of nice and open in places because you know it's winter time in the uh, in the you know spring and even in the fall you know in summer you can't really see it that much because uh, it's pretty well hidden behind all these trees so and yeah we've, we've had lots of snow you know up in the mountains and stuff so the melt's real good so Fountain Creek's flowing real well there's that train it's a big old coal train it's going down to Pueblo and then uh, Walsenburg and Trinidad and it says uh, we used to it used to stop here in Colorado Springs but they uh, changed all of our uh, our power plants over to natural gas so they don't stop here anymore Yeah, I really gotta, really gotta put out a uh, a big thank you to uh, to Roland out of the great state state of Mississippi. Uh, he kind of donated uh, the the new uh, the new ca camera uh, holder and uh, this. Uh, a wireless microphone set up to me he said he just had a couple extra and and after watching one of our videos which is pretty unique because like I said Roland rides a fat tire uh, fat tire bike and uh, you know a two-wheeler and then not you know they don't make a fat tire recumbent bike they make a fat tire recumbent trike but not a bike and uh, so you know that's pretty cool I mean you know here's somebody that uh, doesn't even do recumbent definitely doesn't do trike and yet uh, check out our video and uh, helped helped us out that's just really great I mean it just shows you how uh, how excellent the people that make up the 
the biking triking community worldwide are you know shows you kind of how cool youtube is too you know i mean uh, we, uh, we're getting pretty close to 350 uh, subscribers and we really appreciate you guys and gals subscribing to our channel because i know we don't have a lot of the cool stuff that uh, you know a lot of the other channels have i'm i'm a complete rookie at uh, you know the the video production part of it <laughs> i i really just barely understand my software and uh trying to get better at it but still not there yet Bike back. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Yeah, most folks probably be in a pretty good mood today because it's been way too cold and way too snowy to do much riding unless you're just, you know, one of them hardcores that, uh, you know, you have to punish yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Joe and I are softcore. We're like marshmallows, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's why we ride low we ride slow we ride recumbent trike i mean you know we still get the benefit of uh the cardio work because uh even though trikes don't go as fast ours don't because they're recreationals you know they're recreational touring style trikes they're not race trikes but uh now these are heavier than a regular bicycle so uh means we got to put out you know a bit more power you know just to you know even maintain anywhere near the speed that uh, them big old uh, 29 inch wheel bicycles are now, i know you can uh, you can change your gearing and all that cool stuff but uh, i don't want to change my gearing i need all the low gearing i can get because when i have to pull that uh, pull that our, our, our little cargo trailer full of a week's worth of food uh, up a very steep incline like 11 to 12 percent to get up to the trail from the store uh, <laughs> I love my low gears there's some a flock of geese there pretty cool I don't know if I can pick that up or not probably at least be able to see some of it Like I said, nice thing about the Greenway trails, it goes right along Fountain Creek. A little back view here. And then uh, over here is a our BMX track got some bad old tabletops and raised corners and some whoopies I guess they call them or whoop de doops or whatever they call them and uh, yeah normally there's a uh, you know there's there, there's folks out there on it but uh, howdy maybe not today it, you know, like I said it's not the nicest day uh, we've got on like three layers. We have on a, I have on a fleece vest, a uh, fleece uh, jacket, and the uh, you know the bright yellow uh, bike jacket, you know bicycling jacket, and then we have long sleeve uh, wicking t-shirts and uh, short sleeve wicking jerseys. So and, and we're wearing the uh, bicycle tights. Uh, I don't think these are winter weight. I think they're kind of like fall weight, you know, a little, they'd be way too warm in the summer, but they're great in the fall and they get you through most of the wind. There's only so, you know, if the temperature drops really fiercely, then, uh, then it can get a little ugly. You know, they can be a little bit on the cold side. Okay. Sorry. I had to switch because I got to gear down a little, got a little bit of an incline here. What are we doing? That's not a big one, but boy sure feels like it because you know you were on the flat before got up to about three oh there's four zero four four five one so we're gaining now we're going back down now which i can definitely tell so yeah it's pretty yeah it's kind of amazing how uh 
these little these little rises can uh, really feel like you you know you gotta work you know. That's where it's nice to have you assist like Joe does, you know, because she can just kind of, if she needs to, she can just kind of drop a, you know, uh, she has five levels on her e-assist. So they, you know, be like, you know, like, I don't know what the middle of the two would be, but... favorite shop www.cyclodifferent.com angle tech and uh they uh they had you know that they, they had the, the the specific rack that fits these older ice trikes and they had a, a used set of fenders and so you know we, we we got hers put together you know for much cheaper than mine because I mean, these are brand new fenders, and you know they cost like two and a quarter, you know. So uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, going up again. Uh, what are we? Six point two, six five, six nine seven, seven six, seven eight, eight, eight five, eight seven nine, nine five. Yeah, now we're going back down. Eight nine, yeah. Okay, that must have been about nine five was the max on that grade. I really do like my. Uh, well, I pronounce it Cross. The company's name is X O S S, and it's one of those you know you get it out of Amazon things, but uh, it. Uh, it's not only a computer, but it's also a. A GPS unit although I'll be totally honest with you I do not know how to use the GPS <laughs> I don't have a clue you know for our riding most of our riding you know which is just local trails and and errands you know uh, I really don't need a GPS you know I pretty much know where I'm going now if we uh, decided to go way north car to Springs then I'd probably have to try to figure out how to use a GPS because I don't know the north, the real northern part of Colorado Springs anymore. I'll give you a little view of Fountain Creek here. So I'm going to stick this way out here so uh, we can test that mic. Yeah, you would not want to go over the side on either side because on this side is a reservoir and it's big rocks all the way down to the water. That would definitely hurt. Oh baby. I mean, that would hurt guys. Ouch. And it's probably about to, probably about 20 foot down on the other side here too. Uh, so uh, either way, it'd be a very bad day. If you decide to bail over either side. Okay. So that's your public safety <laughs> announcement. Your PSA for today. Don't take your recumbent trike over cliffs. It's not a mountain bike. It's not going to do the job. Okay, we got to Got to go under uh, Garden of the Gods Road here. So we got this little uh, blind corner thing here. So I'm going to 
since I got the camera, I'm gonna let Joe ding her bell for us because I can't hold the camera and ding the bell at the same time. Sorry, it's really bumpy. Bump. Yep, really bumpy. And unlike Joe, like I said, uh, Joe's trike came with uh, uh, the big apple tires, you know, the Schwable big apple tires, which are the you know, kind of the balloon tire model of the, uh, and it, uh, so it kind of has what they call passive suspension. You know, you run the pressures a little lower and because it's a balloon tire, it doesn't need as high a pressure and it will uh, kind of, you know, cushion you a little bit, not much. You know, I'm talking about maybe a half an inch at best, you know, a quarter to half an inch of cushion. But on some of these sharp trail edge bumps, that little bit of cushion makes all the difference in the world, boy. I mean, it really does. In all of these spots, I'm going to stick the mic way out here and give you a view of the creek. And, uh, well, not the mic, I'm sorry, but the camera on the selfie stick. It's way away from my, uh, way away from my face, so, uh, so we'll have to see if it, uh, see if we got this mic working right. I'm hoping since it, you know, hooks directly into the USB-C port that, you know, the camera will, uh, you know, go to an automatic function kind of thing and uh, override the uh, internal mic system. Because I looked at, you know, I looked on the, the index, you know, on the camera to try to figure out, okay, maybe I need to go to manual. But, man, manual mode has like four or five different levels and... I don't have a clue. <laughs> I don't have a clue, so just decided not to mess with it and leave it on the auto and hope it uh, hope it all hooks together. Yeah, it's one of those strange days because uh, it's just where it's supposed to be like uh, real low 50 Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 52, 53, and. Uh, but it's just warm enough where when we get to our lunch stop, we have to make a decision whether we want hot tea or iced tea. Part of me wants iced tea, part of me wants hot tea. We'll probably, uh, we, we will go inside though if, if the tables are available. One nice thing about, uh, we usually go up here to Panera Bread and, uh, one great thing about uh, the Panera Bread here at the uh, University Village of Colorado uh, Retail Center uh, is that uh, they have, uh, you know, it's got, it, it's got lots of big windows and they got little tables right along the windows on the inside so we can see the, uh, see the bikes down the front. We got a runner back. Got a runner who's gonna kick my butt up this hill, boy. <laughs> like I said, we're not going very fast. We're only going like six miles an hour. So I gotta push a little harder to get up the hill here. He's chasing me down, so. Uh, What's up, guys? Howdy. How are we doing? Huh? How are we doing? Doing great. What about you? Oh, such a nice day. Oh, finally. Oh, uh, we don't know. We're just riding. <laughs> oh, good for you. Yeah. You have a great one. Hey. Bless his heart, man. We're way tougher than this old man. You know, even when I was young, I didn't run very well. Well, I have knocked knees. So, uh, running's never been an easy thing for me. Now these days with the, my ankylosing spondylitis arthritis, uh, yeah, you can forget running. <laughs> that will never happen again. 
Now we walk, we walk all the time. We walk, in fact, if you, because of the uh, constant snowstorms we've had, if you look at our uh, uh, January stats on, uh, on Strava, it's been the first month in the longest time I can since I can remember that we actually got more miles walking than we got triking. I mean, <laughs> I never that's never happened till till this January because of all the snow. Passing on your left, thank you. Have a good day. And uh, so we, uh, yeah, like I said, we just kind of. All right, all right. Joe's going ballistic. <laughs> That's what we say when she kick, kicks it up to two or three to go uphill. And you can tell she just she's just walking away from me. So I got to drop a gear and spin harder so I can. And then when we the uh, grade up to the uh, up to the retail center is pretty severe Howdy. we're talking like you know 11 percent at, at, at its worst so i have to drop down into my really low gears all right so here i come all right drop down into the 26 tooth here and head on up do 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 Howdy! Hey, hi. How you guys doing? Good, yeah. Alright, have a good day. You too, thanks. Gotta gotta get over a bit. Let this bike go by. Morning. Okay. Yeah, it's a very popular trail. Runners, walkers, doggers. Okay. This is back up to the the 36. Go ahead, Joe. Alright. That's just a little over 11 at its steepest on the grade. Now we're back to the flats. We're down to like 1.4, you know. So. Whew. Yeah. I'm impressed. It's hard for me to pedal up that hill. <laughs> Have a great one. Yeah, it's a good steep fish. Yeah. So yeah, now we're we're in the center. Well, uh, and of course we couldn't, uh, you know, they couldn't put the Panera bread on this end of the retail center oh no they had to put it on the other end not quite the other end uh actually kind of in the middle of the retail center but this is a monster it's huge and uh oh forgive me i'm still a little winded after not riding for almost two weeks between uh you know the family uh, consequences, you know, uh, two deaths in the family, and uh, the uh, the uh, and, and the weather. We've had a lot of snow this year. That's uh, El uh, El Nina, as they call it this year, has not been super friendly. For us, at least. That's why we have more walking miles than we have, uh... Okay. Uh, 
yeah some of these uh transitions from uh you know sidewalk to sidewalk or sidewalk to road or boy some of them were kind of rough okay all right okay so now we got to go back up to nevada avenue here and then we'll end up going back down to a Panera Bread. <laughs> so it's up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. That's Colorado Springs. If you ever come to ride in Colorado Springs, there's always an uphill. Because uh, like we've talked about before, most of our trails most of our trails here are uh, what they call urban trails. We only have like two. Uh, we're clear. We only have uh, three. We have three actual rail trails. But uh, even our, our longest trail, which is the Pike Street Greenway, which hooks into the uh, the uh, south it hooks into the Fountain Regional Trail. North it hooks into the uh, New Santa Fe Trail up through uh, Monument and Palmer Lake. And uh, there, yeah, see, University Village, Colorado, right there. This is the Hacienda, Colorado. It's a Mexican restaurant. We've never been here. One of these days, we might give it a try. Our only problem is we don't like really spicy food and it seems like you know except for the one restaurant that we like uh, for Mexican which is called got a goofy name it's called the Bean Bandit but it's a great little restaurant uh, the food is really good and they actually know how to make a mild everything you know mild salsa mild uh, uh, you know dips and that kind of stuff you know but everybody else's mild is uh, way stronger than we like, yeah. We're definitely not spicy food fans, or hot food fans. A little bit of spice is no problem, but... Uh, okay. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, go, go forward and then come back on my side if you can. Cause this way I can I can hook into here and maybe get all three of it. Okay. All right. Well, we're at Panera Bread, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut you down. <laughs> all right. And uh, we'll uh, get back to you after lunch. Sorry about that. I turned to get my glove off and it slipped. So thanks for coming along for the ride. We appreciate it. We'll be back, as they say. We'll be back. All right, bye. Fifty-two percent. Okay, well, we're back from lunch now. Uh, back on the Greenway Trail, and. Uh, head north on the Greenway Trail today. Well, the Pikes Peak Greenway. It's not really the Pikes Peak Greenway Trail, but uh, it's the Pikes Peak Greenway, which is part. Okay, babe. But yeah, uh, I have to apologize because I don't think I... Uh, there's, something, uh, there's something that I'm forgetting to do on this wireless mic and uh, so I don't think it's doing any re uh, you know I don't think this mic is actually recording anything I'd be really surprised here's a good spot to test though I'm gonna stop right here and see if I can get this over where you can see it and, uh,
crossing another one of these old wooden bridges that are bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. But, uh, yeah, so if you, uh, if I put that up there and uh, all of a sudden you can't hear me, that means it's using the internal mic and not the, uh, not the external mic. So I don't know quite what's, uh, yeah, there's some, uh, there's, there's a step I'm forgetting when it comes to pairing the mic and the uh, transceiver. Passing on your left. Thank you. Like I said, this is a very well used uh, trail system here. Passing on your left. Thank you. Here because I need to gear down. Hello. 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 I'll do a little more of the mic test here and do a little view of the creek here. One nice thing though, we actually got a little sunshine trying to come out. The skies of uh, the, the heavier thin clouds <laughs> have uh, kind of disappeared. Now we got the really thin clouds and uh, the sun's trying to come out a little bit so that's kind of nice. That's usually different because usually what happens is by the time we get out of lunch, uh, you know because it takes a while to get to, like I said, we uh, Joe had a doctor's appointment this morning, so she had to take the bus to the doctor's and then uh, take the bus uh, down to about, uh, oh, about, you know, half a mile or more uh, and then walk over to the uh, the storage unit where I had the trikes all ready to go. Get some, uh, and that worked out good because uh, I cleaned the chain, just a quick clean, not nothing fancy. And I lubed uh, the rear derailleurs, the idler wheels in the der rear derailleur, uh, brake levers, um, steering joints. So that's a good thing to do. We got a bike coming up here. Howdy. Passing on your left. Have a good day. A little, little picnic spot here that uh, Joe and I use once in a while, right along the creek. Yeah, I have to apologize if there's bounce because uh, even though it's concrete, it's still bouncy. <laughs> Although, this uh, GoPro 6 has a pretty good EIS system in it. I don't think it's as anywhere near as good as the new, you know, like a GoPro 12 with its, uh, what do they call that? I don't know, Super, bo super Boost or whatever. Uh, 2.0. That's not the name of it. It's got a different name. I'll, th I'll think of it. But uh, this... Uh, GoPro 6's uh, stabilization program is a whole lot better than the GoPro 3 Plus. Or even, uh, you know, Joe's using a GoPro 4. GoPro 4 Black, I think it is. I don't know what the difference between the black, the white, the silver, the... But, uh, yeah, she's using that GoPro. And, uh... that guy so he didn't have to get on the ice that's the one one of the great things about a trike you know you got these three wheels so uh, as long as the ice isn't like you know like pure glare ice you know 
we don't usually have any problems we're uh, heading up the greenway and first we're gonna stop out uh, we're gonna uh, go by uh, the Criterion bike shop it's a regular bike shop it's not a recumbent shop but it's a good shop we bought all kinds of stuff you know accessories because uh, the only thing that's uh, a little bit limited at uh, Angle Tech www.cycledifferent.com is that uh, it's a little shop it's not very big so they don't have uh, you know, they don't have a, a huge selection of accessories, you know, you know, uh, bike shoes, pedals. Uh, I mean, they can order some of it, but even that's a little hard on them because they don't, you know, they, they don't order big order accessories. So at a time, so that it costs more money where a, a normal bike shop orders a lot of accessories at a time so they can save shipping costs. And uh, yeah, I guess the one nice thing about the the you know the winter time is that uh, you can actually see the creek. I'm trying to give you a little creek side stuff here. So yeah, we cross uh, cross another bridge. There's a lot of bridges on, uh, and there's a whole lot of bridges <laughs> on this trail. So it kind of crisscrosses back over all the time. Get up here and... As you can see, Stuart, Joe's wingman minion, is uh, smiling at you. So he must be up to something mischievous. No, I'm good. Yeah, I don't know where we're actually going. We're just kind of wandering around today because, like I said, we haven't been able to ride much. So, uh, that's Criterium right there. Like I said, uh, they're not a recumbent shop, but they, they have, the, you know, they have a lot of clothing. They have a lot of equipment. You know? And, uh, And they're, they're and, you know, and they're pretty good people too. So if you just need general stuff, it's a good place to come if you happen to be riding in Colorado Springs. And it's right on the trail. I mean, you couldn't ask for <laughs> a more, you know, convenient spot, boy. I mean, right on the trail. And you know, they've never complained enough. You use the restroom, fill up your water bottles. Well, like I said, we've bought uh, we bought a lot of accessories from them over the years. Our helmets, which are lasers, L-A-Z-E-R, uh, I think are you know at, at most a, a couple of years old at best. And uh, huh? Yeah, okay. Just is about a year and a half. So we picked those up. They had a really good sale over the summer and. Uh, and we, it, we definitely could use, needed some new helmets. It's been quite a while. These two old guys are fast, but they're always flying. <laughs> a couple of, a couple of seniors and those guys fly all the time, man. They never slow down. This is the uh, newer cement, uh, a concreted uh, section of this trail probably only a couple years old before they had uh, it was you know it was all asphalt but it was in really bad shape I mean it was beat up and uh, I mean it was really beat up yeah sorry if uh, if uh, You know the camera wo wo wobbles a little bit like i said uh, i use a i don't like hard mounting the camera on the bike because it uh, just seems to pick up a lot of vibration a lot of road noise 
and I tried the helmet mount and they're okay but you know uh, I'm always you know looking for you know traffic and everything else so it's constant twitching twitching of the head you know which probably gets pretty old to the you know the viewers you know like you guys so so uh, I, I'm really happy with the the selfie stick you know because I can give you different views you know I can give you down here and give you up there Okay. and give you right out front I can give you a upshot see that Colorado blue sky but yeah so I, I really really like the selfie stick idea and uh, it, it's, it's really easy on the trike you know because you got the perfect uh, photo platform you don't have to worry about trying to hold the camera and keeping your balance you know passing on your left thank you have a good day and yeah now we're getting more towards the uh, well, more towards the real north end of town although <laughs> it's a long ways to go to the actual north end of Colorado Springs I'll tell you the north end grew humongous over the last 20 years now it's heading out east there's a little town out east called uh, Falcon but now it's part of Colorado Springs. They basically Colorado Springs is just you know, just took it over, you know. But uh, yeah, I don't have a whole lot more recording time. But uh, thought I'd uh, at least. Uh, Try to test out this bike, but like I said, I think I blew it. And uh, I should have reread the instructions for uh, for pairing uh, before I left, and I didn't, thinking I knew what I was doing. So this will either work or it won't. So if the, if it isn't hooked up right, then uh, or if they didn't pair, then uh, it will just uh, go back to the internal mic, I hope. If not, then you poor people will probably be happy because you won't have to listen to me yak and uh, put on music. <laughs> but it feels really good to be riding again. I'll tell you. <laughs> it's uh it's been a while you know i mean it's it's really strange for joe and i because you know we haven't uh we haven't you know missed you know like like two weeks of riding in years you know one of those uh, single single front fork bikes which always look really strange you know but like I said you know if I you know didn't do it right and it ain't working then I'll have to we'll have to have another test Okay, so now we're going to go off the, the greenway and we're going to pick up the uh, Cottonwood Creek Trail. Got to be really careful though because uh, right here under 
this is uh, I-25 we're going under and uh, it's usually messy if it snows and it's pretty messy yeah. uh, like I said this is Cottonwood Creek it flows into Fountain Creek yeah uh, oh boy rough uh, oh man yeah this is always a mess down here when it snows or it rains or I mean, it's pretty ugly got a shift down here yeah this is quite rough oops sorry Didn't mean to, didn't mean to cut him off. I was concentrating on the ice. <laughs> like I said, that's a Cowboy Creek, I-25 back that way. The old bridge, and probably what we'll do today is probably uh, just go up and. If you turn to the left over that little bridge underneath the, the old big bridge, uh, you'll go under a short tunnel and you'll keep uh, heading east and you'll uh, still be on the Cottonwood Creek Trail. What we're going to do is go up to the right and it will take us up to the uh, Oh, I can't think of it. Can't think of the word, darn it. The Vincent, uh, well, oh, Vincent, Vincent Frontage Road. There we go. Yeah. The Vincent Frontage Road. But it's actually the trail for us. And, uh, Yeah, so I'm hoping maybe I was wrong and what I was thinking is wrong and it actually did uh, pair up with the uh, the microphone and the transceiver and it's actually coming in nice and crystal clear that would be really great but I really don't know yeah I will tell you it's a little harder uh, some of the movement is because, you know, it's chilly, so I have gloves on, and uh, so it's kind of sliding around. It doesn't move quite as easy. Howdy. Uh, let's go uh, right. Yeah, I don't think I want to go up Cottonwood right now save that for another day yeah now we're going up to the vincent frontage road v-i-c-e-n-t because this is a uh, the little bridge there over to the tunnel that goes under vincent street we're climbing up here and get you a little picture of that older bridge. That's a 1930s main road bridge that uh, is in, they don't use it. It's, a, it's a, been in complete disrepair for many years. Okay. Like I said. This is the vintage fronter. Vincent frontage road oh. you can see we got some pretty good snow up in the mountain mountains well the foothills and the mountains there's a gratuitous picture of Joe and uh, yeah we're gonna stop here and take a drink I think huh oh 
okay, Joe's gonna take a take a photo. Point you over this way because it's a lot prettier. Yeah, it's in there, babe. I didn't know where you put it, so I stuck it in there. Kind of buried, probably. Well, it blends. Yeah. It's a nice, nice view of the actual front range of the foothills. Okay, so. All right. This button to turn on. Yeah. Hold it till it beep 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 beep. Okay, now. You should be able to just start taking pictures. But that's the one on top. Yeah. Okay. Give you a little view of Joe's tray here. Trice, T-R-I-C-E, T for touring, and it has the EBOE assist set up. Okay, so I can't turn around anymore, Joe. <laughs> Yeah, hold it until it goes beep, 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 beep. I, th I think. If it doesn't, then you have to push the one on top and then do that. Did it work? Okay, push the one on top just once. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you have to push the... To, to shut it off, you have to hit the button, and then you uh, uh, then you hold the. Well, you have to hit the shutter button, and then you hold the mode button until it goes beep 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 beep. Yeah, the only problem with it is, is there's enough glare that I really can't see. I can't see what I got left as far as time goes. I don't think I got a whole lot of time left. So somewhere down here will probably, you know, they'll probably just run out on me. My battery is down like 52% and my card was pretty much keeping up with it. <laughs> so uh, uh, I don't have a spare battery for the six yet. So I'm gonna have to order one of those once we uh, get our social security payday, which is every second Wednesday of the month. No, I already got it. Okay, so we're, Back on the, back on the road, on the road again, I know, you guys are like, oh he's singing, ah, run from the hills, <laughs> yeah, where we're going is we're going to go pick up a, uh, a trail, well, basically the Vincent Frontage Road, and this being the, the vintage Vincent Frontage Trail turns into the Nevada Avenue Frontage Road and Trail. If you had uh, if you head south up here at the uh, intersection, if you continue north, then you're uh, on Dublin Boulevard does have a bike lane pretty sure all the way to Academy not a hundred percent on that but I'm, it's been a long time since I did that one but I think uh, I think it does
test out the uh, cat hair mic uh, cover. Yeah, I thought it was like cat whiskers, but according to a couple of uh, YouTube video people that use it, uh, they said it's cat hair. So we'll go with cat hair. It's fuzzy. <laughs> My mic has a fuzzy head, so. Uh, Alright, we got a really severe bump coming up here. Yeah, that's the one bad thing about uh, any of the GoPros. I don't care what model it is. When you get out in this winter, you know, kind of half gray, half, half sunlight light. Uh, you really can't see what's on the back screen. I mean, you know it's there. Sometimes you get just enough to, to see that uh, you're actually recording something. Like right now, all I see is my reflection. <laughs> and that could mean that I've run out of battery and I'm talking to myself. So, uh... Yeah, one bad problem is, uh... Nevada Avenue is very busy and right you know right over to the uh, right is I-25 which is extremely busy so a lot of noise a whole lot of noise yeah I'm not I don't have a place in the shade where I can stop and actually look at my you know see the screen on the camera to see if uh, it's shut down or not stop sometimes they don't most of the time they don't so we'll just wait for them to do something thought this guy's gonna stop you yeah, watch out for this jeep okay he's gonna stop too yeah because sometimes one side will stop and the other one won't <laughs> Has the uh, it has the uh, uh, you know the, the crosswalk sign, but uh, we've learned one thing: when you ride a trike or a bike, technically doesn't do you a bit of good because yeah, you may have had the right of way, but it won't do you much good if you're in the hospital. So sometimes you just have to. Uh, let him go. Got a, got a 
pedestrians have the right the right of way on a sidewalk, not bicyclists. And we do hog up a bit of room, so we kind of have to uh, keep our speed down and be cool about it. Like I said, one of the great things about my trike is that it has drum brakes. So uh, you can use just one brake and it will slow you down. Where and it won't uh, it won't pull left or right. Where a disc brake will pull left or right on you. So it doesn't work as good. transition there. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, it's I-25 over there. Rock room and exit off I-25 over there. I always have to be real careful with this apartment complex because they come flying out of there sometimes. careful here because sometimes there's glass around here so and we've got a really uneven uh, uneven spot here like I said you can tell the you can tell it's been uh, been snowing but it's trying to melt problem of it is is that it seems like every couple of days we get hit again and they'll tell us oh it's just gonna be a little bit and then boom we get four inches <laughs> okay hey Joe I'm gonna stop here by the Harley dealer I want you to go clear up to the end of the BMW, you know, all, you know, up to that. Uh, actually, go all the way to, uh, uh, you know, where, where you have to, you know, where, you, where the trail goes the other way, you know. Stop, and then you call me. So I'm gonna cross here, and then I'm gonna stop. We're gonna, we're doing a mic check on the walkie-talkie or, or a distance check on the walkie-talkies. So, I was going to stay on this side, but if I do that, they'll be stopping for me, waiting for me, so I don't want to do that to them. So, okay, I'm going to stop right here. Now, I apologize. I'm going to try really hard to see if I can see my recording time. Nah, I still can't see it. It's just not good light here. Make sure my volume's up on my walkie talkie. That's max. We're down to three quarters. Yeah, this is uh, Pikes Peak Harley Davidson here. Very good dealership. Uh, Winslow BMW, Colorado Springs. If you, they're all cars though, sadly. Too bad they didn't also do motorcycles. BMWs are my favorite. They're my favorite car. And they're my favorite motorcycle. But uh, I like Harley's a lot too. Yeah, so she's going clear up around the corner on the other side there, and she's gonna try to get a hold of me. Trying to get an idea of what kind of, supposedly you're supposed to have a half a mile. And this shouldn't be too bad because uh, there's uh, not a lot of extra, there's only like one corner where she's gonna like totally disappear. But she'll do just about now. Yeah, now she'll disappear. So she's gonna go past the BMW dealership up to uh, the entrance, uh, one of the entrances to uh, Ute Valley Park. 
and uh, you turn around and have you stare at me here. Uh, it says I've done 37 minutes. Yeah, my battery's just about toast. Yeah, my card. Looks like I've got nine seconds left on my car. So, for BJ and Joe Ando, out and about on the recumbents, we just want to say, hey, thanks for coming along. Yeah, I hear you good. I'm heading up. Okay, watch out for the mud. All right, thanks. Bye. Beautiful bikes. Noisy bikes, though, too. Okay. So, like I said, you know, we appreciate you coming for the ride. Thank you to our subscribers. You guys and gals are awesome. And uh, if you're new, again, thanks for coming along. And uh, if you like what you saw, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Ah, if you got a problem, give us a thumbs down. Leave us a comment either way. That way we know, you know, maybe we can fix what the problem is. This guy's got to almost cut me off here to get across, which I don't blame him because the traffic's bad. It's a good looking BMW coupe there. So we're going to get up here to uh, where Joe is and then we're going to, uh, I'm going to shut her down because I don't think there's much left. She's pretty much toast. I'm sure we don't get run over by a BMW here. Of course, we're going to get run over. Might as well go for something classy, you know. We suck to be run over by a Ford Pinto. <laughs> area up over here on the other side is uh, uh, the one of the fields for the University of Colorado Colorado Springs which is UCCS or as we call it UX <laughs> all right remember ride low ride slow but always ride recumbent if you really want to have fun, ride a trike. It's the go-kart that your parents could never afford for you when you were a kid. Yeah, here's a cool rock formation up there. Oh boy, we got some mud. Yuck. Yeah, oh boy, she ain't kidding. Well, ain't got no choice but to go through it, so. Ooh, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. I hate going through mud. Okay, well, damn. Okay, I'm going, I'm going here. All right, well, so this is where we're gonna end it. From Joe. And BJ. Out and about on the recumbents again. Just remember, it's enough to be on your way. It's enough just to cover ground. It's enough to be moving on. Until next time. Bye for now. <laughs>